Welcome back. As part of section 54 and 55, we are going to implement AWS EKS logging and monitoring with AWS CloudWatch. So before going and understanding and implementing it practically, we need to understand on a high level what is AWS CloudWatch container insights. So we'll understand that first and after that we'll move on to implementation of this use case and when we are implementing also we are going to implement this first manually using kubectl as part of section 54 and in section 55 we are going to automate it with terraform so let's understand what exactly is this cloudwatch container insights aws cloudwatch container insights collects metrics and logs from containerized applications and also microservices deployed on AWS EKS clusters and it will collect the metrics like CPU, memory, network, node disk usage, cluster failures and also number of nodes present in your EKS cluster, number of pods present in your EKS cluster and also number of containers present in your EKS cluster and these metrics it will gather from both the EC2 worker nodes and also for the forget pods. And container insights also provides diagnostic information such as container restart failures to help us isolate issues and resolve them quickly. We can create CloudWatch alarms on metrics that container insights collects. So that's another cool feature about this. Metrics collected by Container insights are charged as custom metrics. In simple terms, pricing is going to be high when we are using these features. In Amazon EKS, container insights uses a containerized version of the CloudWatch agent, which means in your EKS cluster, if you want to enable the container insights, you need to install the CloudWatch agent, which is a containerized version of it. In your EKS cluster, you will deploy the CloudWatch agent related Kubernetes deployment which will create the pods for CloudWatch agent and that respective CloudWatch agent then collects the performance data at every layer of the performance stack in your EKS cluster. Let's see some screenshots from the AWS CloudWatch container insights and understand them on a high level. If you see, this is a screenshot from the CloudWatch Container Insights Resources section. So it is gathering the CPU and memory information of your namespaces, pods, services and even the cluster. You can see here the cluster name HRDEV EKS Demo 1 and in a Amazon CloudWatch, right, inside this namespace, what all resources are running, their average CPU and average memory. In same way, you can see here CloudWatch agent is running. It is a EKS pod and its average CPU and memory. So like this, it is going to gather all the resources inside your EKS cluster related average CPU and average memory. And you see here performance stack. We said that it is going to collect the performance data at every stack of your EKS cluster. So that's nothing but performance monitoring of your EKS cluster. If you take EKS namespaces here, so their CPU utilization, memory utilization, network utilization and also pod CPU utilization, pod memory utilization and then number of pods. So if you take here in Amazon CloudWatch related namespace, right, EKS namespaces, namespace, you can see four pods are there. And in cube system namespace, orange color, you can see six pods are there. In the same way, you can see those namespace related pod specific memory utilizations and also CPU utilizations. So for all the three namespaces, this is one of the picture here. But we can also get information about EKS cluster related, these things, CPU utilization, memory utilization. And for EKS nodes, EKS namespaces, just we have seen now, and EKS nodes, EKS services, EKS pods, and if you also enable Prometheus related things, so those things also you'll be able to see in CloudWatch container. We can see here 
AWS CloudWatch Container Insights Container Map. So we, in addition to seeing the resources in list view, we can also see them in map view. So you can see here the EKS cluster, default namespace, and the workloads or services running inside that namespace. And in cube system namespace, you can see the cube DNS service, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Here, the important thing here is CPU mode, memory mode, and turn off heat map. So whenever you select the CPU mode, you are seeing everything in green, which means no issues from CPU perspective. There is no high CPU usage or errors related to CPU in your entire in entire cluster. And if you click on memory map also, it should show everything in green, which means you don't have any memory pressures for your all these resources. But anywhere if you see other than green, which might be red, so automatically that is nothing but you are facing issues with that respective resource related to memory or CPU based on whatever you have selected. So all those things also you can identify using container map and you can also click on turn off heat map so that all this green and then other colors will be removed which is red color and it will be a plain whitish color to see the things without having the heat map. So we will see that practically when we are implementing it and when you mouse over these things when you select the CPU mode or memory mode whatever it is but when you mouse over these respective resources so you will find something called information about that resource. So this EKS cluster has a CPU average 3% and memory average it is using is 7% and network in and out it is you can see read write transactions how it is going on here right. So now in CloudWatch Container Insights by default it will create few of the alarms and you will also be able to create your own alarms based on the metrics available in your container insights. So both options we have few things it will automatically create and few things you need to create based on the need of your respective organization for your EKS cluster. And in addition to that container insights collects data as performance log events using embedded metric format. So if you see here in CloudWatch log groups you will find something called container insights your cluster name slash performance. So this is very important thing here. So this performance related log group whatever it creates for container insights this is created because of installing the CloudWatch agent as a container in your as a deployment in your respective EKS cluster. So this when it is created right so if you go inside that you will have the information in embedded metric format for all your cluster resources. So these performance log events are entries that use a structured JSON schema that enables high cardinality data to be ingested and stored at scale. And if you see this is the embedded metric format and this is one of the sample metric we are seeing here. So auto scaling name, cluster name, instance ID, instance type, namespace, pod name is cube proxy and all the information about that and pod interface network read bytes, dropped errors, total bytes, transaction bytes, transaction dropped, all those information you can see here. So for this performance data CloudWatch creates aggregated metrics at the cluster, node, pod, task and service level as CloudWatch metrics. So in CloudWatch container insights not only generates the metrics of your respective applications it also will get the logs here and from these logs also again it will generate the metrics for us. So when we review these logs also we get lot of information. So this is the performance log group and there you will find all these entries inside that. And now next thing is CloudWatch container insights related automatic dashboards. The metrics that container insights collects are available in the metrics section and also they will be also having a default CloudWatch automatic dashboard which will be created and which will be available for us with CPU memory network and also cluster failures, disk utilization and then number of nodes related default metrics and additional things if you want to create. So you need to create those things using this 
all matrix section in simple terms for cost sake it will create only few things for your dashboard and if you want more matrix to be added so you can create a custom dashboard and add more and more matrix to your dashboard by default it will give only for the automatic dashboard it will give only few things same point we'll also review in the next slide additionally we'll also have something called these log groups aws container insights and your cluster name and application data plane and host so these three log groups are created using fluent bit agent in your eks cluster which we are going to deploy as part of this cloudwatch container insights section only so this one also we are going to deploy and we are going to see in our next lectures when we are implementing it but before that only i am trying to give you the idea what all we are going to get as part of container insights in this respective demo so we have seen this performance one in our log groups now we are seeing these three things application data plane and host and this application is the key thing where whenever you deploy a application in your eks cluster those related logs by default will be coming to this application log group and you don't need to do any specific changes for that just deploy any application in eks cluster any deployment which creates the pod and automatically whenever you access that application uh, you will get the logs in this application related log group and you can see that in detail and you will also have one more log group here which is aws eks hr dev which is the cluster name slash cluster so here you will have the control plane logs enabled as part of aws eks cluster terraform resource so these four are the things which you are enabling as part of container insights and this one whatever you are seeing here rounded in blue this is enabled by default from beginning of this course in when you have written your aws eks cluster terraform resource so if you go here and go to any section here and open your 01 eks cluster terraform manifest and go to your c506 eks cluster and here enable eks cluster control plane logging and you will say enabled cluster log types api audit authenticator and controller manager and scheduler so with this argument added in your aws eks cluster resource automatically it will create this log group for you in cloudwatch so this one is not related to your container insights enablement by installing the cloudwatch agent are fluent bit agents so this is using your terraform resource and inside that there is one argument named enabled cluster log types so due to that this is enabled now let's see our application logs i have deployed a application called my app one and its deployment name is my app one deployment in your container insights in the application log group right so you can find that here and you can see here i am accessing my application root context slash index.html which is nothing but root context slash i am getting 200 200 200 200 so if you open that json data also you can find it here log is this one i accessed slash context and the response is 200 and i have done that using the client curl command and you can see the kubernetes information request went to this my app one pod in default namespace and this is the pod id and inside this host and the container name is my app one container and docker id is this one and container hash is stack simplify slash cube nginx something something and container image is stack simplify slash cube nginx colon 1.0.0 so these are the information about your application how it is logging to cloudwatch when you have implemented the cloudwatch container insights with cloudwatch agent and also fluent bit for logging so these things are the things we are going to get automatically whenever we deploy our applications and we discussed about another important thing when we are talking about the automatic dashboards cloudwatch does not automatically create all possible metrics for the log data to help you manage your container insights costs so which means 
by default it cannot put everything in your dashboards right because or it can create and then keep monitoring it for the purpose that if it does that automatically your eks management cost increases so which means you have the metrics available and take those metrics and then create the dashboards whatever is required and in addition to that additional metrics which it didn't create are also available in the log insights and those things you can view from your log insights and analyze them as raw performance log events or even you can create the things from those log events and in addition to that for the eks control plane logs in aws cloudwatch right so we said that cluster name slash cluster and this one we are going to get this log group created when we add this argument in our aws eks cluster resource and we said that we are going to have the logs api audit authenticator controller manager and then scheduler see scheduler controller manager authenticator api server cube scheduler and cloud control manager and cube control manager so if you go and then review these logs you can see all the control plane logs running here and then we'll be able to see them in detail this completes the high level introductory part of aws cloudwatch container insights and also the control plane logging in our next lecture we are going to go ahead and understand what were we are going to implement as part of this section which is nothing but understand more about cloudwatch agent and fluent bit agent i'll see you in the next lecture until then bye bye thank you